They've put one together using all the backs available. Marika Koribeti, first time playing against his countrymen. He once ran 100 metres in 10.75 seconds. Now they've got some quick people in Fiji, but even by their standards, that is quick. So Australia walk away with a bonus point victory, 39-21, after an early scare from the spirited Fijians to sit at the top of Pool D. Match day two saw Australia take on Fiji at the Sapporo Dome in Pool D. Runners up from 2015, the Wallabies were looking to go one better this time here in Japan, while Fiji, who haven't beaten Australia in 65 years, were searching for the first upset of the tournament. And it was the Fijians who got off to a flying start. It's going to fall for Randrandra. Beats Karevi. And almost gets past another. Vola Vola. Distributed there by Mafu. Got him brought to. Across the park for Tu Sova, who just steps his way past Hodge. Here they go, Fiji. They've got a five star, five pointer cooking. Try, Fiji. What an unbelievable effort from Fiji. We know they can do this. Did we think they would do it against a. An energetic Australian defence this early. Who knows, they've done it. 70 metres. Great decision from Ben Volavola. He was about to kick. He heard the calls. They had numbers. And they took their time, Fiji. Clinical execution and, of course, speed and power in abundance. Keep it up. Australia march nicely at the scrum and... Put the pressure on and win the penalty here. Nice Sarani carries forward. Quick ball to the left. Looking for the hit back here, Australia. Liliofano knocked to the ground. Five away. Sio buries his head into the Fijian defence. Latu does likewise. White scanning for options. Hooper. Hooper, good line. Hooper driving, getting close. Michael Hooper. Australia go in through the skip. Well played, Michael Hooper. That's experience and that's speed and energy. And he's come round the corner. He's changed his angle. Despite the fact he wrapped round the corner going outwards, he jinked back on the inside to get a better line, to get a weak shoulder. And he's held on to his feet. Well played, Australia. Fiji scored two penalties in quick succession before Australia started to pile on the pressure ahead of half-time. They keep it close. It's Latu at the back. Through goes Nakarawa. Does so legally as well. Nakarawa now gets some help. Latu trying to hold his feet. Fiji will climb in here. And now called out of it. White. He's going to let the big men do their thing. Squeezes it back for Alatoa. Rotter. Fiji get over that one. And again, almost... Steal it away from Australia. Pocock, one of the stars of the 2015 there World Cup. Fiji looking to isolate Pocock there. Tight again. White out in front for Lilia Fano. Shifts it beautifully. O'Connor got hands for Bill. Bill, Hodge, Hodge, try! Beautiful finish from the Wallabies. Slick hands sees this man, Reese Hodge, get his own back against the Fijian side that has been running at him relentlessly. A good build up work from the Australian forwards. Well played, the Wallabies. Right back in it. Australia go up, bring it down just past halfway. They set it well. This is the perfect angle to see how they form now. Latu slides it back for White. White probing. Karevi. Karevi out the back for Lilia Fano. It sits up for Fiji. And away they go. Weiss. Weiss. Baby. Waisea. Nayatarebu try. 
Well, I've set the stadium alight, the Fijians. Nayathalevu from about 45, 50 metres. A handling error from the Wallabies, quick to pounce. And he runs all the way into the arms of his teammates who are warming up behind the post. Here it is here. Probably should have gone wide right from the start for the Wallabies. But Nayathalevu quick to pounce and nobody was going to stop him. Latu to Salakaya Lotto at the back, pulls it in. So they shift the point of attack, they go to the back this time, Latu. Latu, on the back there of Koko, Colin Latu try, Australia. The margin is back to one, kick to come. Yeah, another good ball from the Wallabies, they're very proficient at it. They don't maybe have the biggest, most bruising pack in the world, but they're certainly organised. And Fiji just had no way to counter this in a legal manner. They gave it their best shot early. That's all you can do. Get in and drive the Wallabies off the mark and hope that they have to go to ground to save the ball. But once they got it set, it was one-way traffic. And Latu, good control at the back. Pretty straightforward once he finally got to the line. But all the work had been done before. Great effort from Australia. Salakai Lotto. They repeat the dose. Latu at the back. He stays patient. And now they straighten the angle. Latu does have to. It's a pair for Tolu. And again, once Australia got set, it was only going one way. They'd had a bit more work to do about it this time. The feet. There we go again. McFarlane cutting it forward, and it's uh, there for Iriatara Inari. He's got the captain with him, providing some support. Contestable from Iriatara Inari for his team. How's it worked out? Well, it's worked out for Fiji on their side. Falls for the open side, Nasove, and now Vola Vola. Here's where they're really dangerous. Fiji coming forward through Botitu. Oh, Mane. His players waiting, but he looks at the short side here, the halfback. So good on his feet. Frank Lomane, but uh, just can't retain possession. Manu Samoa and Danny Toala can't hold on. But we'll play the first one back here. Fiji just rushing things in my view. Mayanava knew it. Just snatching at the ball. Didn't really need to. Lamani's done some good work in finding easy meters. And that's where it's lost forward. And then Anadi just gets into the hands of Tuala. And he looks up as well. The pass wasn't exactly great. Certainly were opportunities. Mind you, I like the look of this Fiji and scrum. And don't be surprised if they put some heat on Samoa. On this particular scrum, it's in good field position. And it'll give them a great launching opportunity should they get the success of a penalty. There's the big pressure Willie talked about from the Fijian tight five, but they do clear it from the scrum. Manu Samoa, there's the kick. And it's a pretty good one, too, under the circumstances, as Tui Thuvu sends it back. Some contact on his 22, and it's not out. So Danny Toala sizes up a low, flat one of his own. It's forcing Vola Vola onto the boot. That one's not out either. So the return of serve continues. And what's the call here? No whistle from Way. So Iona finally settles it down and after all of that it'll be a line out to Fiji just on Manu Samoa's side of halfway bit of attention here for Manu Samoa and their hooker. Great New Year.
Oh, there's not much in that, is there? Willie? Yeah, don't ask me. There's a guy in the year that's got nowhere else to go, so I've seen other situations where he's been penalised for being in the year, so hard to know which way they're going to adjudicate at times. Thankfully, Nui is up on his feet. Short line-out called by Fiji. Up they go, and oh, they just win it, Fiji, through Matuni Yaroa. Off of the line out there for Lomani again. Players waiting blind. Stacking up, in fact, and that is the way they go. Just happy to try and build some pressure. We know they've got the game breakers to slice through. There's one of them, top of your screen. And Nanaya Mbossi, Lomani has his winger chasing. It's contestable, and it's uh, gone forward off Manu Samoa. So Fiji through Ironi Maui. Five metres inside, Samoa's half. Still no try, just the early penalty to Manu Samoa in the opening 18 minutes. Good contact coming in on Vilamuni Botitu. Certainly keeping an eye on him, uh, Manu Samoa in midfield. Slow ruck ball, but it doesn't matter. Off the feet is the call from Jordan Way. And a welcome penalty, Willie, to Fiji. Yeah, unlucky there, Jordan Taufua. So dangerous around that. Breakdown. He understands the laws. He knows. Man that used to play as rugby for counties, Manukau in Auckland and New Zealand. Played New Zealand Sevens as well. And now in France, well, I wouldn't mind having a view at that because it was a line ball call and that has found touch. It's a nice kick from Bola Bola. Well, here's my wish. You get what you want. There's the ball. Ooh, yeah. Touch and go for that one. Manu Samoa, Jordan Taufua. What a career he's had. Started back professionally for Tasman on loan from Canterbury in 2012. And the rest, they say, is history. What a player he was for the Crusaders. As well, he said, now plying his trade for Lyon in France. Matavesi goes to the back, and it's there for Fiji this time. Moore goes to ground. Referee says it's fine, and they'll pick and go again here. The home side. In fact, they won a penalty. So a chance at three if they want it, or keep the pressure on. Fire the blowtorch, perhaps. Keep the pressure on for sure. This really starts to put doubt in the referee's mind about going to the card as well. So you just go to the line-out again. It's working well. In fact, I wouldn't mind if they put a scrum down. To be honest, I think their scrum is terrific. Atuni Yarawa. They go quickly. Fiji, they're over. Albert Tuesui scores it for the home side. And they hit the front in Lotoka. Oh, magic. Absolute Fijian magic. You don't see many tap moves nowadays. There used to be the wall back in my time, but that was 100 years ago. And now they just tap, run lateral, and give it to the big number eight running on the angle. Samoa thought they were just going to block there and look at Tui Sui just go through the middle. Poor old Inari was just looking up saying, how do I tackle this truck? And Fiji scored the first try of the afternoon. Well, Australia A will be, and we know who they're cheering for in this game, that's for sure. And that is the response. Vern Cotter's Fiji were after. Bola Bola, lovely kick, strikes it sweetly. So 21 minutes gone, and it's Fiji who hit the front 7-3 to three over Manu Samoa. Beautifully worked. He just ran close to where his Fijian teammates were. And poor old Inari, the halfback, there was no chance. 
absolutely zero chance of stopping that. Well worked, well timed. You know, for a team that dominated the scrums, I was scratching my head thinking, why wouldn't you take the scrum? What do I know? Lovely move. Cutting it forward, Ratuni Yarawa, and uh, a lovely angle too off the pass from this man to score that first try. Good pressure off the restart, flying up. Area for Mai, and in fact, the ball's turned over. Ala Ala Toa fires it away. Dolfor spat out the back from Lee, but it's loose. It's untidy, and here's the chase. Now the referee's whistle has gone. Just as Ainiangolo's eyes lit up, had plenty of space in front, and no Manu Samoa defenders. They're under pressure. That's interesting because that should have been play on. Really, the Samoans got the ball from the Fijian knock on, and the advantage was over after it had gone two passes. But okay, they'll bring it back. Plenty of Fijian players asking referee about that ruling as well. Well, if it was play on, there would have been short odds on. Wainingolo being chased down. Olympic gold medalist with this side at the Olympic Games. A rare opportunity though. Set piece on Fiji's 22 for Manu Samoa. And Ari, they spread it into the back line. Iluila getting the leg drive going. He's got Manu in support. Here they come again. Tolfua. Jordan Tolfua up to the five metre line. Manu Samoa. They have a penalty advantage to work with too. Oh, ball goes down. None will come. But off the feet is the call from Jordan Waite. And so decision time here for Michael Ala Alatoa. That's a massive call here for Samoa. Surely they go for post here. D'Angelo Neuela receiving some attention. Australia with a two-point lead on the table. 12 points they lead over Manu Samoa 10 after their win earlier today. So for the Samoans, it's just a case of getting the win and getting it done. So they do opt for the corner. Well, this is where the tackle was made. He said number eight. Off feet. Ooh, wow. Okay. New out down at the back for Manu Samoa. They look to set it. Good take by Fritz Lee. Here they go. No money. Told to leave it. They'll set it again here. Pick and go is the option. Noah. He's a couple of metres out. Enari. Players waiting. Good pressure here from Manu Samoa. Oh, ball just goes down cold. And it's a chance for Fiji. Off turnover ball. Hambosi. They spread it. It's brilliant. Oh, no. We'll come back just as the fans got to their feet. This is why they've come to see the flying Fijians. Victory be a great boost for them. Leading into their build-up towards Rugby World Cup 2023. And this is where they've just dropped it again cold. McFarlane couldn't handle it. And what about these skills? Hambosi with a quick ball to Lomani. Ball on the inside to Mbotitu. No look pass. That's the one they say drifted forward. 
Only Fiji will try and run the ball 97 metres because they know they can get the job done. What sort of pressure can Manu Samoa apply here in front of Fiji's posts? Nice stable set piece for Fiji, marching forward. Jordan Way's arm comes out. Now they can chance the arm. Um, money just slips on the turf in Lotoka. Now they have a penalty advantage from Scrum and uh, a couple of penalties there, in fact. So they'll go quickly here. Not from the mark, though. The quality of Frank Lomani in his 22nd test just showing all the class in the world. He knew that they had house money to play with, so he chanced his arm. Gets an extra 15 metres for his trouble. And now Ben Volavola will get them out of their red zone. Boy, he is a classy halfback. Still get back to that decision where they kick for the line out. I would have kicked the penalty there, but there's Lamani showing his class. Thirteen away from half time here in Fiji, and it's the home side with a slim advantage. They win the line out ball. They'll be happy to cart this forward all day. Starts to break down, but Matavesi has it. Spits out Lomane, Vola Vola. Stabs it along the deck, but Titu chasing. It's loose from Toala. Play on is the call. Fiji, oh, and Bossi. Oh, he knows it too. He's hard to stop. 70 metres away from the line. He's almost impossible to stop. 15 out. Well, once again, that Fiji and Flair on full display. After the forwards did their job of getting over the advantage line, Matavesi's having one heck of a game. And then the offload to Lamani, they get it out to the backs, the nice quick hands. And if Tui Thuvu had it all over again, I'm sure he'd offload again to Hambosi. Talk about razzle-dazzle. Here's the kick to Ala, couldn't handle the heat coming up to it. And then look at the speed at which they get there and just play hot potato. Mbotitu to Naya Thalevu. And then Tui Thuvu to Hambosi didn't happen. Some more aren't out of it yet, though. Fiji will put all sorts of pressure on this scrum, guaranteed. Keep an eye on Ben Volavola and Panea Hambosi. Just lurking, just lurking in behind this set piece. The scrum has been excellent in the opening 29 minutes. Continues to be the case. Lomani. Lomani. Still Lomani. Fiji again. Fiji gold from the little general wearing jersey number nine. He is a magician. He's Fijian's version of Harry Potter because he can just weave his magic. He knew it. he had the penalty again. So he steps not once, but twice off the right. And there is no Samoan defense to stop the flying Fijian. He's in for their second. And boy, is this crowd erupted. Well, at the moment, they're off their feet in Australia, too. Because at the moment, this effort from Fiji has Australia A lifting the Pacific Nations Cup. Now, that is some try, some individual brilliance from Frank Lomani.
Lovely kick from Ben Volavola. Converts the try to Frank Lomani. And 31 minutes gone in Fiji. It is Fiji who leads Samoa 14-3. Well, he missed a couple of penalties and also conversions last week, Ben Volavola. But this, that was earlier. That's the first try to Tui Sui. And this is the second. And that's what happens when you've got Hambossi on the right-hand side. He's a threat, so you don't know whether to defend him or Lomani. And you go for Hambossi and then, well, the joker gets around you. Away we go again, and oh, almost, almost taken down. My to more Manu for Manu Samoa, but it is the try scorer calling in a wee bit of support. Let's settle it down, one off, and look for an exit. A bit of pressure coming though from Manu Samoa on the counter ruck. No, oh, well, Manu scrambles it away, and now Danny Toala. A big contact from Ambossi coming in on the Manu Samoa fullback. And in fact, it's so good, they win the penalty. Just created enough time, the hit. And Danny Toala is the one penalised. Marco Alala Toa just asked some questions about the counter ruck that he thought was legal earlier but this Fiji inside just playing controlled nice international rugby they're called test matches for a reason because they are tests and they test you in every capacity your intellectual property but that hit from Hambossi is the reason why you don't run down his channel and then just there in Botitu in and over the ball where free rewards the second 5-8 for being in there Ratuni Yarawa goes up, takes it cleanly. The Matavesi throw. And in fact, it's been lost in there. So, Manu Samoa will get a scrum. Yeah, really, it's been all Fiji for the last wee while here. Definitely a knock on. You can see the ball pop up. There, it's in the mall, and then all of a sudden it pops up the top there. And it floats up, and they try and steal it back. So he gets the call from the AR. Samoa finally gets some possession, but they need to use it wisely. No point kicking. Set some targets, get your forwards around the corner, and then start playing Manu Samoa in rugby, which is ball in hand. Again, look at that weight coming from Fiji, but Inari will feed down the short side here for, for Ma'i, who gets them over the gain line on halfway. Now the captain, Alala Toa, striding forward. Atuni Yarawa makes the tackle, but Manu Samoa keep coming forward. Ball offloaded. This is more like it from Manu Samoa. Liu Ilip. Now the referee's whistle goes again. See, they were looking good. And phase on that occasion were Manu Samoa, but it breaks down five out from half time. And that's where they are at their best. Beautiful Samoa reopening in August. But boy, they're here to play. And they just need to just have a little bit more concentration. It's those little things that can cost you in test matches. Beautiful break here. There's no obstruction there. Volavola can have his hands up as long as he wants. And then Leo Wheeler here where he goes to ground. He just needs to hold on to that ball. And it just comes out. The referee says, well, that's not controlled. And they were looking good there, Samoa. Well, it has been a point of difference for sure in the first half for Fiji. Their set piece, their scrum especially. Ben Volavola 
Excellent player to have at 10. Former Canterbury North Harbour man, of course, time at the Crusaders. Now playing as trade up in the north in France. Juan Angolo just looking on, and he's the perfect person to get the ball straight off the scrum. So elusive and so dangerous in that open channel, the channel between number eight halfback and the first five. Way well, lets it go, and Lomani has it off the scrum. Hoofs it downfield, and it's there for Toala. And the Moana Pacifica fullback makes the kick of his own for Lomani. Just on his side of the 10. Vola Vola now. Huge range from Ben Vola Vola, but it's inside of Manu Samoa's 22. Four Fijians go up to meet Rodney Iona. And they do well here, Manu Samoa, just to free it. But again, it has been lost forward. See, that was brave. Four Fijian defenders bearing down inside the 22. Manu did well to get back to Mua Manu. And he thought that his fullback was going to kick it or first five, brother. And then he just handed it. Look at this nice bend off. Get out of here. And just got the speed wobbles, didn't get the landing gear down, loses the ball forward. And another opportunity goes to miss. He is a quality player out of the top draw. And his debut last week, scoring a try against Tonga. It was an intercept try. He won't score too many easier than that. Hate to say it, but Samoan scrum is struggling. They are just hanging on by their fingernails, nothing more. Have to keep Fiji out here. You feel Manu Samoa just out from the break. But again, look at that weight playing for the penalty. Way's arm surely will come out. Yes, it does. They won't get the advantage, but they will have a chance to add three more. That is some scrum. And it's been the biggest improvement in Fiji and rugby in the last decade has been how serious they are when it comes to set pieces, in particular taking pride in the scrum. They are giving Samoa the old lesson on how to do the basics. And Michael Alalatoa, well, he's just looking forward to that half-time whistle to get to the shed. To make it a two converted try lead for Fiji. No mistake from Ben Vola Vola. And that is half time. 17 points to three. It is the home side Fiji who lead Manu Samoa in the final round of the Pacific Nations Cup. Well, an excellent performance at set pace as uh, former All Blacks captain Tanu Manga greets Manu Samoa into the sheds. Plenty to talk about. You talked about it though, Willie Lovesack. That set piece has been something of beauty from Fiji. We've seen how dangerous their back line has been in this competition. But at the moment, it's that front eight. Well, the game starts and ends up front. And if you can't do your set piece as well, if you're struggling to win your own scrum ball, 
and then you're getting annihilated on their ball. That's a tough afternoon in the office, and sadly for Samoa, I looked at their team when it was named, and I saw five loose forwards, and I always knew that that was going to be the risk that you run of not having a few concrete mixes in that second row. Chris Bowie, not a big guy, neither was McFarland, and they are struggling at that set piece. leading into their build-up towards Rugby World Cup 2023. And this is where they've just dropped it again cold. McFarlane couldn't handle it. And what about these skills? Hambosi with a quick ball to Lomani Bourne on the inside to Mbotitu. No look pass. That's the one they say drifted forward. Only Fiji would try and run the ball 97 metres because they know they can get the job done. What sort of pressure can Manu Samoa apply here in front of Fiji's posts? Nice stable set piece for Fiji marching forward. Jordan Way's arm comes out. Now they can chance the arm. Um, money just slips on the turf in Lotoka. Now they have a penalty advantage from Scrum. And uh, a couple of penalties there, in fact. So they'll go quickly here. Not from the mark, though. The quality of Frank Lomani in his 22nd test. Just showing all the class in the world. He knew that they had house money to play with, so he chanced his arm. Gets an extra 15 metres for his trouble. And now Ben Volavola will get them out of their red zone. Boy, he is a classy halfback. Still get back to that decision where they kick for the line-out. I would have kicked the penalty there, but there's Lamani showing his class. That's your mark, okay? Thirteen away from half time here in Fiji, and it's the home side with a slim advantage. They win the line out ball. They'll be happy to cart this forward all day. Starts to break down, but Matavesi has it. Spits out Lomane Vola Vola. Stabs it along the deck. But Titu chasing. It's loose from Toala. Play on is the call. Fiji oh, and Bossi. Oh, he knows it too. He's hard to stop. 70 metres away from the line. He's almost impossible to stop. 15 out. Once again, that Fijian flair on full display. After the forwards did their job of getting over the advantage line, Matavesi's having one heck of a game. And then the offload to Lamani. They get it out to the backs. The nice quick hands. And if Tui Thuvu had it all over again, I'm sure he'd offload again to Hambosi. Talk about razzle-dazzle. Here's the kick. Tuala couldn't handle the heat coming up to it. And then look at the speed at which they get there and just play hot potato. Mbotitu to Naya Thalevu. And then Tui Thuvu to Hambosi. Didn't happen. Some more aren't out of it yet, though. Fiji will put all sorts of pressure on this scrum, guaranteed. Keep an eye on Ben Volavola and Panea Hambosi. 
Just lurking. Just lurking in behind this set piece. The scrum has been excellent in the opening 29 minutes. Continues to be the case. Low money. Low money. Still low money. Fiji again. Fiji gold from the little general wearing jersey number nine. He is a magician. He's Fijian's version of Harry Potter because he can just weave his magic. He knew it. he had the penalty again. So he steps not once, but twice off the right. And there is no Samoan defense to stop the flying Fijian. He's in for their second. And boy, is this crowd erupted. Well, at the moment, they're off their feet in Australia, too. Because at the moment, this effort from Fiji has Australia A lifting the Pacific Nations Cup. And that is some try, some individual brilliance from Frank Lomani. Lovely kick from Ben Volavola. Converts the try to Frank Lomani. And 31 minutes gone in Fiji. It is Fiji who leads Samoa 14-3. Well, he missed a couple of penalties and also conversions last week, Ben Volavola. But this, that was earlier. That's the first try to Tui Sui. And this is the second. That's what happens when you've got Humbossi on the right-hand side. He's a threat, so you don't know whether to defend him or Lomani. And you go for Humbossi and then, well, the joker gets around you. Away we go again, and oh, almost, almost taken down. My to more Manu for Manu Samoa, but it is the try scorer calling in. A wee bit of support. Let's settle it down, one off, and look for an exit. A bit of pressure coming though from Manu Samoa on the counter ruck. Oh, no, Manu scrambles it away, and now Danny Toala. A big contact from Ambossi coming in on the Manu Samoa fullback. And in fact, it's so good, they win the penalty. Coin, you'd say that they're in with a chance. If you're Salida Mapasua, you would have told them that set piece is a problem. But they've got to get back to what works for Samoa and rugby. And that is ball in hand. They've had very little possession and very little territory. Hence the reason why they trial by 14 points. And if you've burned Cotter, you just say to all your men in the white shirts here, nothing's broken, don't change a thing. What a blow for Manu Samoa ahead of this one. Jack Lamb initially named in the 23 on the bench, the experience, all of the experience he brings, but a late replacement, Henry Timmy Stow is coming in. Not a bad man to bring in either. But Lomani and Fiji will look to pick up just where they left off at the end of the first half. Manu Samoa, 40 minutes to try and wrestle the Pacific Nations Cup off of Australia A, who for the moment are in the box seat to win it. Noah. Early possession here off the kickoff. And so the captain puts his head down. Pass to Ayla for, for Ma'i. Area for Ma'i. Got Fiji hunting for the ball at the breakdown. Inari again. Iona 
Trying to free it up in midfield. Manu almost getting isolated, but they'll play on here. Iona picks it up and goes off the ruck himself. Ball is loose, and uh, he's taking him up before he's got the ball. Infringement coming against the Fijians, pushing a player there. So they will have a golden opportunity. Manu Samoa, they need to take this early in the second half. Perfect start. Right from the kickoff, McFarlane got up, taps it back. Vui is there. Then they go right through Noah, and then they just continue to build pressure. And this is the right option. Early in the second half, you go for big points. No point taking three there when you're down by 14. Go to the corner and go to what works. Beautiful run by Manu, which gave Yona the chance to go through the middle. And this is where the Fijian player playing the halfback without the ball. You can't do that in front of the referee. You can't do it anyway, but it's not a good idea in front of the referee. Smile on the face, but opportunity here for Samoa. And it goes, and they've won it. Next Farland. That's one. Alalatoa gets it back. Here they go, Manu Samoa, and it's Lamb who scores it. That's the start they wanted. And they're back in the contest in Lotoka. Well, they rolled the dice. They're playing roulette at the wheel at the moment. Red or black. Get the penalty. Kick to the corner. Work your line out. And Salala Lamb, who's come on to replace Nuia, who scored three tries last week from a similar style. It seems to be the Samoan way. Let's just roll up the sleeves when you're in close and then let the hooker go to work. Look at him. Broke off. Knew that he wasn't going to be stopped that close to the line. Nasovic gets a ride on the back of the pony for his troubles. And whatever Silala Mapasua said at halftime, bottle it. It was gold. Perfect start to the second half. Manu Samoa. Well, no shortage of experience in that dressing room. We saw former All Blacks captain Tanu Manga there as well. And the try is converted. Seven-point game in Fiji. They want the Pacific Nations Cup. Yeah, great play here. McFarlane just plucking it out of the air and then Lamb doing everything right here. He knew when it was the right time to go because they went through the middle initially and then they started to splinter and then he just broke off. Toala tries to spin through Fiji's defence. But it is there for Inari. Meriatra <laughs> Inari. Sends it high in the Fijian sun. Maniang Olo just over the top for Tui Fuvu. Tofua made the tackle on him and he's down on halfway. Untidy for Lomani. Oh, very good hands from Danny Tuala. But the referee's whistle goes. And a wee bit of push and shove off the ball here. Well, it's hot in Fiji, but I think Jordan Whale will just try and let this cool down. I like the way that the big fella Solo in his 50th is just standing there. He's probably the biggest guy that could come up and he wanted to throw his weight around, but he's just standing there enjoying this choke, getting his breath back. <coughs> I'll go back for the knock on and they'll play the scrum. They start, need to just channel some of this energy here. Tuala, whistle it gone. And then Fiji and player just getting on with it. But this is where they took exception to the mismatch of the heavyweight against the Bantam. Okay. Noah and a few others came running in. Well, he could almost audition for WWE with that. Natuni Yarawa. But as it stands, we have a seven-point ball game. Can feel the tension. It's so special for Manu Samoa. Samoa and rugby get their hands back on the trophy. But 
this scrum has been a work of art from Fiji. And again, they win another penalty from it. Sadly, I've been in a scrum like what Samoa is at the moment. And it's not pleasant. And it's somewhere you don't want to go. Because you know that the opposition are just going to suffocate you. They basically just take the air out of your lungs. Beautiful play from Fiji as well. That's just smarts. That's just intelligent rugby of knowing what their strength is and why get the ball out when you just hold it in here, dominate, and then get some easy meters through the penalty and the kick. And it goes again. Matavesi finds Ratuni Yarawa. Fiji down the short side through Nasove. Twelve meters out, the Fijians rolling up the sleeves and the tight stuff. Looking to try and restore the advantage. Someone players lying in the way, but Jordan Way says, let's get on with it, little money. Wants some big boys around the corner. He's got his wish. And there's the try scorer, Tuisui. Puts the head down, stopped by a blue wall. Is one of the best fetches over the years. Jordan Tolfor goes hunting. But still there for the Fijians. Ball loose. Vola Vola cleans up. Nayatha Levu is left behind. And in fact, it's been lost forward. So, some good urgency from Samoa, and they forced the mistake. Take a bow, Manu Samoa. That's not easy. They had their heads down for a little while there after Scrum got annihilated, and all of a sudden they decided to do what they do best and punch back through defence. Wonderful defensive effort, in particular Taufua, on a couple of occasions, and then just put pressure on them. That's all it is. Pressure comes on. Fiji look for the 50-50, and Samoa get the opportunity. Unfortunately, it's a scrum, so they just want to get out of this. You don't want to stay in here any longer than a second. You just hit, get the ball in, and get it out. Yeah, a big hit from Chris Vui. Former New Zealand under-20s player. Of course, North Harbour Blues. There was some contact that needed to be made on the Fijian captain. Had a fascinating game on our hands here in Lotoka. Manu Samoa chasing the Pacific Nations Cup. It's Australia A's at the moment. Samoa need to win it. Again, they're monstered. Absolutely hammered at scrum time. Lomani teased the quick tap, but he knows. They can afford just to settle this right down and play it their way. Salela Mapusua will be scratching his head. So too, the captain. Someone, 50th test match. And he is sending a statement to Pacific Island Rugby. There's the ball, and then the squeeze comes on, and they just work as eight, walk forward. Too easy. Good day off the tee so far for Ben Volavola. It continues in Lotoka. And it's a 10-point lead for Fiji. 10 gone in the second half. And that's what I call a professional. A guy who last week missed a couple of penalties and conversions, took it upon himself. He has been kicking off the tee all week, making sure that he does his job. 
That's the quality of this guy here on screen, Ben Volavola. Away we go again, still plenty of time left in this one as Hambosi takes it. Sunshine in his eyes and just look how difficult he is to bring to ground. Takes a front row forward and a loose forward to try and do it. And it was high, so they win a penalty. I think they nickname him the Eel. That's what it's like when you try and catch one down in the lake or the river. And all of a sudden you go, yeah, I got it. No, no, no chance. He is just unbelievable. His ability to break out of tackles. And he's a nightmare because he doesn't concede. He just keeps pumping the legs and keep breaking tackles. Look at this. First guy, McFarlane, get out of here. See you later. Then all of a sudden the captain comes in. No chance. And then Noah says, well, I'll bring him to ground, but i got to go high. He is a nightmare. That's been the balance today, hasn't it? The forwards and the backs, just as I say that, it's overthrown, overcooked, and Fritz Lee for Manu Samoa to ground. And they win the penalty, a welcome one too. Just try and plug the corner. It's the man who did the hard work not too long ago, destroying Samoa's scrum in their own half. Yeah, he won't get any points from Vern Cotter after the game, though, on that. That's just not smart. You know you're offside, and so why you'd stand up and grab the ball 16 penalties, and that's gone, wow, to plan. That's really nice. Five short. Have a look at this. The overthrow, well read by Fritz Lee. He gets into the backfield, and then here we go. The old Popo stands up and says, oh, it's Christmas. No. Nah. Still in July, son. He was Manu Samoa's 16th man there. Well and truly offside. So this is what they've needed. Five metres out. Well, no Jack Lamb today. His brother's been over, though, and he puts in a good throw, too, for McFarlane. So Manu Samoa. This would really close it up. Not moving at the moment. Tomatene fires it out into the back line. Iona oh, just tried to free it up for the supporting player. And Jordan Way again, as whistle goes. And so back-to-back -back penalties. The way of Manu Samoa. Just wonder whether you just take the three. There's still 27 minutes left to play. Take the three on offer here. Then just get back to halfway because you know you've got to score twice anyway. No real urgency to get the seven here. It's a good decision if Michael Alalatoa has decided that it is points. Nathan Levu has a little discussion. Well, I've written down three points, and that's good. Good captaincy and good play here from Samoa to strike back straight away. Yona, no mistakes from that position. Man out of the Rumbies and Canberra. And he closes this one up to a seven-point game. With 26 minutes remaining, plenty of time for Manu Samoa. Centre your screen there, Fijian Prime Minister Frank Mbani Marama. Doesn't give too much away. And at the moment, his side with a converted try lead. Don't know what would be tougher to watch, this game or the conference that he's had in Suva over the week with the other Pacific leaders. <laughs> I'm sure the catering was good, on point. Well, there he is on the right, Jason Ryan. They talk about the scrum. Daryl Gibson as well, former All Black. A lot of experience in that coaching box. And they won't panic. Manu Samoa coming. Jeff, can I say a big vanaka to the wonderful team that are bringing us these images as well, the great camera crew, the director, everybody in the truck that's bringing us these beautiful visions. Vanaka, for the work you've done over the last three weeks, 
A plus. Absolutely. Celebration of rugby and Pacific Nations Cup. Some of the best fans in the world. And all deep in thought, Salela Mapusua. Tana Umanga in front. His, his hands all over the blueprint for Manu Samoa's attack. Volavola again, it's going to go too far. Too far from Ben Volavola. So these are the moments where yeah, Manu Samoa just need to try and capitalise on them. But it's been a long day at set piece, particularly scrum time. Every time I pump up players, they go and make a mistake like that. But maybe the water break and everything else, that's a basic error. But when you've got a scrum that's operating the way that this team is, and they, they'd rather go to the line out, that's smart play. No point going to a scrum where you're getting belted. Go to a line out that's functioning nicely. Manu Samoa need to get Ah Wong into the game. He's a big unit. Give him the ball. He's a special player. We've hardly said his name, Willie, maybe once. Nigel R. Wong. Lamb. And it goes. McFarlane takes. Iona. Just trying to set this Manu Samoa backline alight. Domatene. At the back door. Ah Wong up in the line. Here they come through. Elijah Wan. Noah. Not held. Continues on. Look at the leg drive. The man out of the Sharks in Durban. Ioana. Here they come again. Luila. That's the 10 metre line inside Fiji's territory. Tomatene. Ioana is met by Fiji's defence. Now Lamb plays it back for Tawala, who'll play half back and not the greatest pass in the world for Fritz Lee. So Jordan Way will play the advantage. Normani, though, has well and truly gone backwards in the play, but will play on the advantage. So, Lomani deep out for Tuithuvu. And the advantage is over. So, Al Wong sends it straight up, and he finds a good touch in the end. Big boot on him. Nigel no, Wong, out of the Manurewa Club there in South Auckland, played for Counties Manukau in a number of the New Zealand NPC competition. An international now with Moana Pacifica and would have liked to have seen him used a little bit more, but he has been swapped off. Yes, he is. Bissonier coming on in Jersey 23. Hi, Fiji. Just look to settle things down inside Manu Samoa's half. Good play. Flying up Botitu. There's a Manu Samoa player there on the deck, but it has been turned over. Tom Matene will get back to his post. And now D'Angelo Luila just sends a big kick downfield. That's fantastic. Just outside the 22. And really turning Fiji around just when they needed it. Oh, that's a beauty. That is exactly what they ordered. Didn't know whether it was the right option to kick ball away because they've had very little amount of it. Started with a defensive tackle, though. They got belted, the Fijians, from the set piece. And then all of a sudden, some belief, and you can see it in the body language of the Samoan players. They know they're still in this game. And I like the move to bring Bissonier on because he's the type of player that can break through some of these tackles in the late stages of the game when players are getting a little bit more fatigued. It's the Hawks Bay connection. Inari, Helia, Fomai, Toala, Olangi, Visinia on the park. Henry Taifu is there too now. So, Salela Mapusua starting to empty the bench. Still 23 to go, but knows fresh legs and that talent needed. Try and get them home over Fiji here. Short line out. Doesn't work out for Fiji, Tomatene. Now Lamb. Full of running. The tackle made. Nasilasila. Iona. 
Freeze it up, Noah. Oh, just can't hold on. They had plenty of space in front of big man too. That part of the field would have been hard to stop, Willie. I wouldn't have stopped him. I would have given him the green light for sure. And Yonah, because he was there from the start of the, the line out, he's the man that threw the ball into the midfield. That's why he was there for the quick bounce back, which is there. And look at him take the ball to the line. Love his attitude. And the offload there, that is money every day of the week. Just a little high. Like the attitude of this Manu Samoan team. They've got some belief. And the Fijians, well, I hate to say it, they're not offering much in this last quarter. Fiji have won the last five between these two sides. So much riding on this one. So much riding on this test match in Lautoka. Uh, Fiji. Another penalty. So if the game finished now, Australia Ray would be the Pacific Cup holders. Samoa would get a bonus point, but 11's not enough. Am I right? Correct. Australia, five points took them from seven out to 12. They leapfrog Manu Samoa, who went into the day on top of the table. But as you say, they do need a win or a couple of bonus points at the very least. So a couple of bonus points, then Samoa would win the tournament because they beat Australia A. Correct. All right, I can put my shoes and socks back on. <laughs> I was going to say you should. It's starting to smell a bit. And so Vern Cotter just continues to roll the subs. Tangi on. Kami Kamitha coming on in 20 as well. Well, the starting forwards have earned a drink, that's for sure. Chance to freshen things up. And will this make a difference to the flow at set piece for Fiji? We'll find out. In it goes. There's the win for Nasila Sila. Vola Vola. Not much angle inside his 22 for the 5 8. And uh, carried back, Jeff. That is a no no. So all of a sudden, just a few errors coming in from some of the quality players. Pass back from Lamani to Bola Bola inside his 22. And even though the Samoan scrum might not be holding up, they're just using sellotape to try and stay together. But boy, their line out, there's no problem with that. And now they've got more changes. And this is an area of the game, in my view, where Samoa have been dominant. The line outs and their ability to score off this particular set piece. Lajuan Noah off. Michael carry on, and they do win a good line out here. Theo McFarlane. He's got one today. Selala Lamb. It goes straight down. Michael Alala Tour asking the question of Jordan Waite. D'Angelo Luila. Good, strong carry by the second 5 8. Tomatene. Iona. A Toala up on the line. Danny Toala, so dangerous on his feet. Hasn't had much opportunity to strike today, but they do have a good opportunity here inside the 22. 19 minutes remain. And it's a seven-point advantage for Fiji. as a play down and back play for Samoa. Tomatene, ball goes backwards again. Ball has been turned over. Here comes Fiji and their captain, Nayatha Levu. Free it up, Botitu. And no, we'll come back again. So both teams creating opportunities. And Manu Samoa just struggling to hold on to the ball at times, Willie. Well, possession and territory now starting to come back towards Samoa. And you can see here that when it breaks down how dangerous these flying Fijians are from any set piece, if the ball is there and it's available... They're off to the races. Doesn't matter what number you got on your back. That's the hooker that's coming. He can evade it. He gets it back to his captain, and that's where the ball just gets lost forward into Mbotetsu's hands. They had support players out to the right. And you can see why some of the players are getting cramped now. There's still a quarter left in this game. 18 to play. 
It's always the question I ask players at this particular point of the game. Who wants it more? Because that's what it comes down to. Well, right of your screen there, you can see the man in 22, Seta Tamani Valu. Quite a player to bring on. Three tests for the All Blacks in 2016. Made his debut in the PNC this year. So emptying the benches, both coaches. Tough conditions. Tight match. One try in it. Also a draw. A very likely possibility at the moment would also be enough if Manu Samoa would have scored a converted try and the game were to finish. So plenty of possibilities, Willie Lose. And there's one player who knows how to move. Yeah, these two teams, in my view, over the last three weeks have been the, the top two teams. No question, even though Samoa were unbeaten leading into this. Fiji have just delighted the crowd with some of the razzle-dazzle and flying Fijian rugby that we're so used to seeing. Australia Ray got better as the tournament got better. And they certainly improved after that first week of going down to Manu Samoa. But for World Rugby looking at this, they would say that Pacific Island Rugby is in very good hands. This time at scrum time, and look at what it means to Jonathan Tomatini. They win a scrum penalty. That is a rare thing this afternoon. Take the shot. You've got to just close that gap up. This is a test match. It's not about being fancy and scoring the most tries. It's about winning the score in the top left-hand side. That's all that matters after 80 minutes. And this is brilliant captaincy from Michael Alalato. Close the deficit to four. And remember, they've changed the whole front row of both teams. And so with that, are going to come new players who aren't going to be as skilled or as warm as the other players were. And yeah, just going straight down. Champagne finish coming up if this goes over. Or as they say here in Fiji, Carver finish coming up. <laughs> Pressure moments. Difficult kick. For Rodney Iona. He's got the range. He's got the distance. He's got the three points. Big penalty for Manu Samoa. And 17 to go in Lotoka. They close it up to a try. 13 points to three in the second half. That's what's happened to this game. There's some belief in the Samoan side that they're playing Manu Samoan rugby. And they are 16 minutes away of something special if they can score again. Accuracy, the key for both of these teams. Manu Samoa can edge ahead with a try. The final 16. Slow ruck ball on his 22-meter line. Jonathan Tomatene. And he sends it high. Good chase coming through as well for Ma'i. He makes the tackle on Wanyang Olo. And they try and get over the ball now through Fritz Lee. He's in a good position, but Fiji have it again. That's the 10-meter line inside Manu Samoa's territory. There's the mistake from Seta to Manivalu. And here they come now. Oh, just goes into touch to Angelo Luila. But we will come back for a set piece and it is these moments in test rugby where as you say Willie we've had a whole heap of changes in the front rows this scrum will be fascinating and here's where it broke down yeah just Tamani Valley we saw that blue wall in front of him concentration or lapse of concentration but if I'm Samoa here I'm clicking for field position I don't want to play the game down here where if you get a penalty that volla volla who's kicking so well from the tee that you give him a chance to extend that lead out. Still plenty of time to play here, 15 minutes. And you don't want to be inviting Fiji to the dinner table. 